Eggs are too expensive, okay? And egg companies are blaming the avian flu outbreak for the price increase on eggs. However, a U.S. farm group just sent a six-page letter to the FTC asking for egg prices to be investigated because the largest egg company here in the United States is recording record profits. How about that? The company pointed to decreased egg supply nationwide due to avian flu, driving up prices as the reason for its record sales. But get this, the company has no positive avian flu tests on any of its farms. What the f is going on here? It seems like we keep hearing these same stories and getting the same outcomes. In this case, we're talking about egg prices. And across the country, people have noticed the prices of eggs have gone up drastically at their local supermarket. But as that video just showed you, the justification isn't always what the companies claim. In fact, it's rarely what the companies claim. In this instance, it looks like companies are using avian flu outbreaks at some egg suppliers to drive up their prices. Year over year, that same producer saw an increase of profits of over 100% in the last quarter. Let me repeat that over 100% increase year over year in profits in one quarter. But at this supplier, like they say, there is an avian flu and they control over 20% of the market. When you have companies that are so big and control such an outsized share of an industry, it leads to rampant profiteering. All of those choices you see at the supermarket, it's really not so diverse. Take a look at this. Almost all banking and finance is dominated by four companies. Almost every commercial food brand is owned by nine companies. 90% of the media in the U.S. is controlled by six companies. Four companies account for 80% of all U.S. drug stores. All air travel in the U.S. is dominated by four companies. Almost all meat is produced by three companies. Almost all beer worldwide is owned by five companies, with two companies dominating 65% of the U.S. beer market. And across the board, all of these corporations blamed inflation for rising prices. And we saw the consumer price index increase month over month for about a year. People looked to Biden, they looked to policymakers, they looked to regulators. But the one place few people looked were corporate executives because corporations at the same time were experiencing record profits. If it really was supply chain issues and worker shortages, you wouldn't see these types of profits that they're posting. They're posting record profits while at the same time, they were arguing that the supply chain made it almost impossible to do their job. That's simply not true. This rampant profiteering has increased the cost of living for millions of Americans. A majority of working class people are living paycheck to paycheck, but all of these same companies are getting rich. They're getting richer than ever, in fact. It's it's great for the shareholders, it's great for the executives, it's terrible for you, the consumer. You're and then you wonder, why aren't these companies being broken up? Why are so few companies allowed to control an entire industry? And as we've come to time and time again in all of these videos, the reason is always the same. It's because they've basically bought these politicians. They've donated to their campaigns, they lobby them heavily, they have close relationships with them. Members of Congress are afraid to tackle this issue. That we even got a hearing in the Senate on Ticketmaster and Live Nation's monopoly over the music industry is surprising. I don't expect anything to actually happen. I hope I'm wrong. But the fact that we even had a hearing on an antitrust violation is shocking because that's the state of affairs in this country. Members of Congress in both parties have allowed corporate capture of entire industries. They've allowed industries to consolidate to the point where only a few companies control the entire industry. And that allows them to essentially operate as a cartel. They can dictate prices however they want. They work in alignment and screw you over and rob you blind. But nothing's going to change until we tackle the issue of money and politics and corporate influence over our legislators.